Hello everyone, welcome to another Figma tutorial. In our last video, we offered an overview of each scroll behavior. Expanding on that, today's video will focus on working with a scrollable list. Let's kick things off by creating a new document if you haven't done so already. Next, we'll create our frame into our design. To keep it simple, we'll include a rectangle to serve as our header. Next, we'll introduce a vertical rectangle to serve as our size scroll bar. Adjust the corner radius to 30, and I'll slightly lighten the fill color. Now, let's create a duplicate of this rectangle. Let's use keyboard shortcuts. For Mac users, Command D, and for PC users, it's Control D. Also, you can go to the main menu and select Edit Duplicate. Since the duplicate sits right on top, I'll modify the height on the right side, and you'll notice the size changes with the bounding box preview. As well, let's make the slider slightly darker or change to an entirely different color. Now, let's include some content. To speed the process, I will use the duplicate keyboard shortcut once again, Command D for Mac or Control D for PC. Also, you can find it in the main menu under Edit Duplicate. I'll craft a line of text, duplicate it, and shift it down slightly, and continue this pattern until completion. To fix the alignment, I'll move the bottom text box to be aligned with the bottom of the scroll bar. Here comes the interesting part. I'll streamline the process by selecting off all the text boxes in the layers panel on the left. By clicking the top text layer, hold down Shift and select the bottom text layer. Everything in between will automatically be included. Next, let's make use of the alignment tool. Under the design and prototype section, you'll find various alignment tools. The one on the far right might say more options, and it will provide distribute vertical and horizontal spacing. I'll choose distribute vertical spacing ensuring an even distribution of space among the selected items from top to bottom. Let's group the text fields. For a Mac user, it's Command-G. For a PC user, it's Control-G. You can also find in the main menu under Object Group Selection. If you're using a mouse, a right click will do the trick too. Great, now let's duplicate the frame. Use Command-D for a Mac, Control-D for a PC, or find it in the main menu under Edit Duplicate. To activate the motion, let's adjust the position of the text group in our second frame by moving it up forward slightly. Since the text is currently on the top of the header, we need to send it to the back. Now, bring the scroll bar down to the bottom by holding the shift key as this, as this moves it approximately 10 pixels down. Utilize the down arrow on the keyboard for this action and you might need to repeat it a few times. I think it's time to transform this into a prototype. Navigate to the prototype stage in the top right hand corner. Let's create a link between the scroll bar in frame one and frame two. When you select the bar, a small circle will appear. This is your connector. Drag this connector to frame two. Switch from on click to on drag interaction and pair it with smart animate, set at approximately 300 milliseconds. Repeat the same procedure for frame two by dragging the bottom scroll bar to frame one, employing the same interaction on drag with Smart Animate also set to 300 milliseconds. Let's give it a whirl by clicking on the play button on the top right hand corner. And see if you smoothly drag the bar up and down. Sweet. You've just crafted a scrollable list using one approach. Do keep in mind there are various ways to achieve this, and we look forward to sharing a few more alternatives in the future. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on more handy tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.